Welcome. Let's discuss the surface area of a sphere. So given the following sphere, we want to think about how much area do we need to wrap the whole object of a sphere. Well, this idea is not that straightforward because the sphere is not a flat surface. How about we get our sphere and let's lay it down in a flat surface. Then notice that the surface area of the sphere, it's nothing more than the area of a rectangle. So we can use the formula for the area of a rectangle to define the surface area of a sphere, where the surface area will be base times height of this rectangle. So let's understand the dimensions of this rectangle. If we get our sphere back, notice that when we're opening our sphere, Along the way, we create a cylinder. And if we concentrate on the upper part of the cylinder and consider the circumference of the circle, when we continue opening the sphere, that circumference becomes the base of this rectangle. Let's see it one more time. So we have our sphere. When we open it, we got our cylinder. The circumference of the upper circle, if we continue opening, Notice that it becomes the base of this rectangle. So now we can say that the base is equal to the circumference of the circle, which we can always find it by 2 pi r, where r is the circumference of the circle, which notice that is also the circumference of the sphere. Now to understand the height of this rectangle, let's go back to our original sphere. And notice that if we consider the center of the sphere and we choose the upper point of our sphere, this can be seen as the radius of this sphere. But if we go straight down, we can also consider this as the radius of the sphere. So notice that when we go from the upper part all the way to the bottom part of the sphere, that is equivalent to two times the radius of the sphere, 2r. And now that we have defined this distance, notice that when we open our sphere one more time, that distance of 2r, it is equivalent to the height of our rectangle. So now in our formula of a rectangle, the height, we can just substitute it with 2r. And now when we multiply these two expressions to find the area of this rectangle, notice that we obtain 4 pi r square. And this is how we define the surface area of a sphere. 4 pi times the radius square of our sphere. So given any sphere, if we're able to define the radius of this sphere, we can just plug it in to the formula of 4 pi r, and we will always obtain the surface area of this sphere. Let's take a look at one example. So given the following sphere, let's find the surface area of it. We have already defined the surface area as 4 pi times the radius square. So the only thing that we need to look for, it is the length of the radius. And when we take a look at our figure, the distance from one point to another point in our sphere, it is of a length of 12. Then we can say that half of this distance, it is the radius of our sphere, which is equivalent to six centimeters. And now that we have the length of the radius in our sphere, we can just plug it into our formula and obtain the surface area. So for the radius, let's plug in a value of six. And now let's simplify this result. Six to the second, that's 36. And here notice that everything is in multiplying. So let's multiply four times 36. That's 144 pi centimeters square. So we have properly found the surface area of this sphere. Now, if we want to approximate this result in decimals, remember that pi, it's approximately 3.14. So in terms of decimals, we can say that we have 144 times 3.14, which is approximately 
point sixteen centimeter square. Regardless if we have an exact expression or an approximation, we have found the surface area of our sphere. Hello. If you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.